Hello everyone, Alicia here with another Lightened Up Weight Watcher friendly recipe. And today's recipe is going to be another way to use up your turkey leftovers from Thanksgiving, Christmas, whenever you have them. We always smoke a turkey for Thanksgiving and usually have quite a bit left over. So I like to do different things with those leftovers. This is one of my favorite ways to do kind of a lunch prep with them. I also filmed a Thanksgiving dinner casserole which is another way I like to use up my turkey leftovers. So if you haven't seen that, I will have that linked up above and down below. But this is one of my favorite ways to do a lunch prep that's WW friendly with my turkey. So I thought I would show you guys how I do these sliders. They are turkey Swiss and cranberry sliders is what I call them. Very, very simple, very tasty. And like I said, a great way to use up those Thanksgiving turkey leftovers. So let me jump in and I'll show you what you're gonna need for ingredients. Okay, so first off, I've got a pound of chopped up turkey breast. And as I said in my last video, where I showed the smoked turkey breast, if you see a little bit of a pink tinge to some of that, that is totally normal with the smoked turkey breasts. You will get a smoke ring with them that makes the meat look pink on the outside and then in where the bone is. So that's totally normal. Just wanted to point that out. So you all know that I'm not using <laughs> raw turkey. But anyway, I've got a pound of our smoked turkey breast chopped up here. And then here I've got some Hawaiian rolls. I'm just using the Franz brand this time. That's a 12 count. And then for cheese, you can use whatever type of cheese you want really. I've done different ones, provolone, cheddar, but this time I'm using thin sliced Swiss. This is kind of my favorite. So this is what I have in my recipe builder for these and that's what I'm gonna be using today. I'm gonna to be using six slices of that. Next up, you're gonna need a low calorie butter spread. Now I usually like the Brummel and Brown but I've got this Lando Lakes that I need to use up. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. You're gonna to need four tablespoons of a light butter spread though melted. And this is for the butter spread that I'm gonna put on the top of these. Also for that butter spread, you're gonna need a half teaspoon minced garlic, half teaspoon onion powder, one and a half teaspoons everything bagel seasoning, one and a half teaspoons Dijon, and then a teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. And then finally, I'm gonna be putting some whole berry cranberry sauce on these. Not a lot, just a half cup, but I love the kind of added tartness that the cranberry sauce adds to these. So I'm gonna be adding, like I said, half cup of that to these. And that is everything that's in these. Not a whole lot of ingredients. Again, these are very simple to make, but very tasty. So let me get them started. First thing I did was line a 13 by nine inch cookie sheet. You could also use a 13 by nine baking dish, whatever you have, but I lined it with some foil. And I've also got my oven preheating right now to 375. So I'm gonna give my cookie sheet a spray with my cooking spray here. And I don't think I mentioned this when I was going over the ingredients, so if I didn't, uh, <laughs> you need some cooking spray. I'm gonna set that aside. Then I'm gonna grab my rolls and I'm gonna just cut the tops of these off. And I like to use this long serrated knife for this because it works really well to kind of get them all off and one pass through. So now I'm gonna take these, set them on my cookie sheet, and remove the tops. Now I'm gonna take my turkey, I'm gonna just sprinkle this on the top. Next up, I've got a half cup of that cranberry sauce measured out. So I'm gonna just kind of spread this on the top of the turkey as evenly as I can. And if you don't want to use the whole berry, you could definitely use just the jelly, whatever you want. I think it's all the same amount of points, but I like the whole berry. And if you want to save yourself a lot of points on this, or some points, I should say, this is fairly high in points. It's 13 for this half cup. If you make a homemade version, which I typically do, I just didn't this year, I did a relish instead. The one I make is zero points, so that's what I like to use when I have it, to save myself some points on these. But this also works. And this is always what I end up using if I don't have the homemade. 
All right, next, next up I'm gonna add my Swiss cheese to the top of the cranberry. And now I'm gonna put the tops back on. All right, next up I'm gonna make my butter sauce or butter spread for these, which starts off with getting my Lando Lakes or my light butter spread melted. And so again, that's four tablespoons that I'm gonna go ahead and get melted in the microwave real quick. Got my butter spread melted in a small bowl here. And now I'm gonna add in one and a half teaspoons of that everything bagel seasoning, half teaspoon onion powder, half teaspoon minced garlic, a teaspoon Worcestershire, and a teaspoon and a half of the Dijon. Now I'm gonna just whisk all of that together really well. Okay, this is ready to go on the top of the rolls. I'm gonna just take a basting brush and I'm gonna brush this on the tops of all of my rolls. Now that I've got that on, I'm gonna go ahead and cover these with foil. And I'm gonna just let them sit or rest for about 10 minutes. All right, I've let these set for 10 minutes, so now I'm going to put them in my preheated oven at 375, still covered for about 15 minutes. Here is how we're looking at 15 minutes. Now what I'm gonna do is I've uncovered these, as you see, I'm gonna go ahead and put them back in, still at 375. I'm gonna cook them an additional, probably 10 minutes, but I like to start checking them around five. So I will be back once these are done. Okay, I let these bake an additional 10 minutes uncovered, and here's how they're looking. See, they're slightly browned, and the cheese in there is melted. I don't know if that's picking up, but these are definitely done, so now I'm gonna let them set about five minutes or so to cool a little bit, and then I will cut into them. Okay, I let these cool about five minutes before I cut one out. Here's what it looks like. It smells so good. Oops, slide down the plate. <laughs> um, these, point-wise, are gonna be six, which I know is a little high. Um, I have several different slider recipes that I do, and they're all I would say a little high, but I always think they're worth it because they're just so good and they're so easy to make. And they make great meal prep. Usually when I make these, I'll make a double batch. Eat some, freeze some. I should say that's for any of the sliders that I do. I like to make double batches of them. This time I didn't because I didn't have enough turkey to do a double batch, but typically that's what I would do. And like I said, I would we would eat some and then freeze the rest, but really, really good. So these are six points, but like I said, I think they're worth it. It's all about what you wanna spend your points on. And they are still a whole lot lower in points than if you did them the traditional way. So there is that. Anyway, that is turkey Swiss and cranberry sliders. Great way to use up those turkey leftovers. Like I said, just absolutely delicious. I will try and remember to link my other slider recipes I've shown on here before said I love them all they're all just so good and all really easy but anyway guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one <laughs>